Hi, how's it going? I was recently alerted to the fact that WebGPU's spec has changed. Let's fire up the code from last time, run it, and see what's happening. This is not good. We have an error. Layout missing in type. Okay, so if we go into our source and our this bit, we can see that it says we want, well, WebGPU wants some sort of layout in here. So we can actually sort of control click in and it actually See, unless I'm missing something, it doesn't do a good job of explaining here sort of what it wants, but we can sort of guess and say, okay, do you want a layout? It'll have to be something. Um, GPU descriptor base layout. It's a GPU pipeline layout is what it wants. So we could go back in and, and jump around a little bit. I'm going to save us a bit of trouble. Um, actually, if you read the web GPU spec, um, they have updated it with a, a new example of how to kind of set this up. But what do we want? Um, what we want is um, what's called a bind group layout. Because we can probably guess that, yeah, the layout sort of needs to be um, created by the device. Create pipeline layout. But then we don't know, like, what do we put in here? We put a GPU pipeline layout descriptor. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, so there's a few sort of steps in between. So let's go. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a bind group layout. Now a bind group layout is um, basically a layout of the group of things that we're going to be binding. So if I had like a bunch of buffers, a bunch of samplers, kind of like descriptors, it's it's descriptors basically, then I would describe um, sort of the, the things that I'm going to be using in my render pass. And that this all goes into a dictionary uh, with a list of things called entries. At the moment, I'm just hard coding the data. So I would just put in nothing, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then um, the way I would use this, and I'll kind of fill this in in a later in a later video because I'm not I'm hard coding the data right now. Um, but we use this to create a bind group. And a bind group is actually the um, the references to the underlying things. So in my bind group layout over here, I could say, hey, I have a vertex buffer which gets bound to um, binding number zero. It's visible to the vertex shader and the fragment shader for some reason. And then over here, I create a number of different bind groups and say, okay, this is going with bind group layout here. Um, and um, the underlying resource is this certain vertex buffer. And then another bind group says, okay, same layout. The underlying resource is this different vertex buffer. And you see how this goes. So I'm just kind of um, creating a bit of boilerplate for the moment. Okay, so we have the bind group and then the underlying resources in there are nothing because we're hard coding it right now. But yeah, so we kind of don't need this bind group at the moment, but um, it is, I guess I'll just keep it there for now. We'll fill it in later. Okay, 
Now we can use all of this to create the pipeline layout. So go device, create pipeline layout, and we want a pipeline descriptor. <clears throat> and um, this is sort of a dictionary and sort of the bare minimum that we need, I guess, is the bind group layouts, which is a list. We can just pass that in there. And there we have it. This is sort of how we will create a pipeline layout. So we can then go down and fill this in here. Okay, no more errors. That's good. We can go back to the terminal. Set that up. Okay. And um, we can go back, sort of open this up. And that's not good. That's okay, things happen. So let's open the inspector. And the first thing I see, composite alpha mode is deprecated. Please set alpha mode instead. Okay, no problem, we can go back. And just change this to alpha mode. At least that was a helpful um, message. Okay, oh, yeah, of course, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, that's great. Reset this, and that weird blackness is gone, but nothing has been set. And we have this error message. Oh, the blackness is back. No bind group set at index zero. Okay, so I'm guessing index zero is probably the default um, index. And it says this happens at um, the, the draw function. So if we go back to our code, we can probably, probably guess that what we need to do is right down the bottom. So see how we set pipeline, we're probably also gonna have to set the bind group. So go render pass, set bind group. Index is the index to set the bind group at. We're gonna set that at index zero. The bind group, we created it above. And then we have these dynamic offsets, but they're optional, so we don't, we're not gonna put those in. That's fine, we'll just build that. And there we have it. No errors, we've got our triangle. And yeah, that's nice. So I know it's, I know it's a bit annoying when the spec changes and the spec probably will change a few times. I am noting that it's starting, the code is starting to look a little bit more like Vulkan code. When I first started out, um, I was thinking, hey, maybe this will be like, um, more like metal code, but uh, no, anyway. In either case, there we have it as our beautiful triangle and uh, yeah. So I hope this cleared up a few things. Uh, I hope your web GPU journey is enjoyable and I will see you again soon. Right. Bye.